Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to a new series. We have the quick picks for each week of the NFL 2020 season. As you can see, this screen right here, this will be on every single episode starting from here on out. Of course, it'll say a different week in the top right. But let's go over it real quick. Prediction record for previous week. Basically, that will show my record of the games I predicted right and predicted wrong. Prediction record overall, that is the exact same thing, except it will count over the weeks. Golden predictions. Now, I don't think I'll get any of these, but basically, that is me not only guessing the outcome of the game, which is if they are win or not, but also guessing the score, 100% correct. I don't know if I'll get any of those, but there's a total of 512 games in NFL season. So, hey, there's a chance. And, of course, you got teams on bye. Of course, this is the first week, so there's no teams on bye, considering there's a doubleheader on Monday night. But, anyways, with that being said, let's go and start with our games. First game of Thursday night football, which is tonight, Texans at Chiefs. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, you know, Texans are probably going to lose this one by big time. But the Texans will put up a fight. Deshaun Watson will put up a fight in primetime. But so will Patrick Mahomes. We've seen this last year. Saints, Texans, Deshaun Watson put up a fight against the Saints. Saints came fighting back. I feel like the exact same thing is going to happen with Texans and Chiefs. This game's going to end up 29-28 Chiefs. And let's get into our afternoon slate. We have the Jets at Bills. Now the Bills, they're going to be a completely different team this year. they got a really good defense. Their offense is decent. The Jets, I'm not too sure what to say about them. They open up on the road as well. It's going to be a tough game for the Jets. 24-13 is my guess. The Bills win. Packers at Vikings is up next. Packers, man, they got a pretty good defense. Aaron Rodgers is back. Vikings are a pretty good team. This is going to be a close one as always. It's a good divisional game. But I got Packers taking this first one. 28-23 Packers. Eagles at football team. Washington. Eagles, they're going to be decent this year. They got Carson Wentz back. They got a few receivers. The defense is okay. Washington, they only have somewhat of a defense. No offenses there. Their quarterback system is a little weirder now. I think this is going to be a pretty decent win for the Eagles. 28-9 win for them. Browns at Ravens. The Ravens, they usually get off a good start. Browns, not so much. Browns always struggle week one. This is just getting used to everything. Ravens, however, they'll become fighting. They're ready to play. They got mad after losing that playoff game versus the Titans. They're going to win this one 31-17 over the Browns. Colts at Jaguars. The Jaguars are really not going to be that good this year, but Colts with Phillip Rivers, I feel like they're going to get off and they're going to start really fast. I think the Colts can win this one 38-10 pretty easily. Raiders at Panthers. This is going to be a pretty close game. I think Raiders will win it 27-24. Both teams are really similar. They can be really good, but I don't really see them being as much better than they already are. So, Raiders, I think they'll get this win. 27-24. Bears at Lions. Another divisional matchup. Lions are okay. The Bears are decent. I think the Bears are just a little bit better. They have a good defense. I don't really see much with the offense, but I feel like it'll be enough to get past the Lions. Lions haven't been much this quite a few years, so I think Bears win this one. 29-13. Seahawks at Falcons. Now, this is one of my upset games. I think the Falcons are coming out this one. A lot of people are underrating the Falcons and how good their offense is. Their defense is, you know, it's it's all right. But the same thing for the Seahawks. They have a good offense. Their defense is all right. But I think the Falcons can get away with this one. They got Matt Ryan. They got Hayden Hurst. Julio Jones. They got all this. They can beat the Seahawks. It's going to be anyone's game, but I think the Falcons can take out this one. And then finally, our afternoon slate game, Dolphins at Patriots. The Patriots got to get used to their system with Cam Newton. I think they're going to win this game, but it's not going to be big. Dolphins are mediocre. 24-16, the Patriots win. Going into our midday slate, we start with Chargers at Bengals. The Bengals with Joe Burrow, they're going to have to get off to a good start to really see if Joe Burrow is worthy or not. I don't really know if they can get past the Chargers. I know Chargers have Tyrod Taylor, but the defense is pretty good. It will be a lot for Joe Burrow to overcome. I think they'll lose this one by one score, 24-17, Chargers win. Cardinals at 49ers, here's my other upset game. I think the Cardinals will actually come out of this one. Even though the Niners got off to a really hot start last season, they won like eight games in a row. The Cardinals are pretty decent as well. Kyler Murray has a lot to prove with Larry Fitzgerald and DeAndre Hopkins on the line with him. This 49ers are just as good, but I think the Cardinals can steal this one. 20-21, start at 1-0, which is a big, powerful win. And then the Buccaneers at Saints. This is going to be a really good game, but I have the Saints beating this one 38-31. Tom Brady's good. He's going to be good in the Bucs. The Bucs team is really good, but they haven't got used to anything, and playing the Saints week one is really, really tough. You play anybody week one, you probably don't want to play the Saints. Let's be real here. In our Sunday night football game, I have a low-scoring matchup between Cowboys and Rams. I have a 17-13 Rams. Cowboys can win this one, but Rams, I think they'll come ready to fight. It's not much to say. I feel like Rams play better in prime time. Cowboys, they're okay in prime time. I think that's the only thing that's going to show. Not much like I said this, between this matchup. They're both really even teams. They both show the same skill. But I think the Rams will come out top. 17-13, only a four-point game. A pretty low-scoring game as well. Let's get into Monday Night Football. We have Steelers at Giants. Giants with Daniel Jones are decent. Saquon Barkley will probably be running as well. But the Steelers' defense is something else, and I think it will be enough to get past the Giants. 31-21, alongside with Ben Roethlisberger back. 31-21 win for the Steelers. Our final game, Titans at Broncos. 23-20 is my score. Titans are just good enough to beat the Broncos. Broncos have a decent offense. Titans have a better offense. Titans have a defense building. Derrick Henry, of course. All of these factors lead up to the Titans' win. And those are my picks for Week 1. Of course, I can't have any stats right here yet. It's just N slash A, non applicable or no attempt. Because, of course, it hasn't happened yet, but after this week, we'll put it all in. So thank you guys for watching. Week 1, quick picks done. I'll see you guys later.